In this lesson, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into edit mode. So let's get rid of these extra Suzannes here. I'm just going to hit W on the keyboard and then hold Shift to select the third Suzanne. And then we're going to hit X on the keyboard to delete. Go ahead and select the original Suzanne and hit period, period, period to frame these up in your view. Now let's go back into full screen with Control or Command spacebar. And if you hit Tab on your keyboard, notice that we easily and quickly go into edit mode. And notice we have the choice between vertexes or little dots, edges, which are these little lines, and faces. So let's start with the vertex and notice that there's little dots all over Suzanne here if we zoom in. So to deselect everything, you can hit select and do none or just Alt A and that will get rid of all the selection. And now you can click on any one of these points on Suzanne's face here. So go ahead, don't be shy. Just click on any one of these little vertex points. And once you have one that you have found, you can actually hit G and grab that point and move it around. You can also orbit and pan, hit G, and just move some of these vertex points around. And go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and undo that. The next way to edit your geometry is the edge select. So notice that when I click edge, now there's no more points. It's just I can click on any one of these edges. So go ahead and click on any one of the edges inside of Suzanne here, and we are going to rotate. So just hit R, and that will let you rotate any one of these edges any way you want. So just look around, grab some of these edges, and kind of rotate some of them. You know. Nothing crazy here, just want you to get familiar with moving things around and how much power you have with really the entire look and feel of your designs. The third way to manipulate your geometry are the faces. So if you click on faces, now notice that whenever I click on any one of these shapes, it's no longer the point or the line, it's actually lighting up the whole entire shape here, or the polygons. So what I want you to do is maybe hold shift and select multiple faces on Suzanne anywhere or maybe on her nose here and then just hit S on the keyboard and that will let you scale this up or maybe you want to scale it down and change it up. So the challenges for this course are to remove the two duplicate Suzanne models and then jump into edit mode with tab and manipulate the vertexes, the edges, and the faces. In the next lesson, we're going to be going over the 3D printing toolbox add-on to see if we can actually 3D print this Suzanne model here.